Hi, my name is Lisa and welcome to Zero Waste Closet. If you're new to Zero Waste Closet, this channel is all about creating an authentic wardrobe that matches your style, your personality, your lifestyle, and generally serves you. No more wasted time and no more wasted space on things you do not need. Guys, today we are gonna talk on one of my very favorite topics, and that is the capsule wardrobe. I'm actually continuing a topic that I brought up in last week's video. When your closet isn't working for you and you need to start all over, maybe you should start with a capsule wardrobe, especially if you feel like you have way too much. This is a concept I endlessly enjoy playing with, where basically I get a concise collection of clothing and shoes, I put them on a rolling rack if you're fortunate enough to have enough space and maybe your house, your closet, your bathroom. It is actually something that I do. I keep that rolling rack out. God bless my husband for not caring about this. But it's great because when I have limited choices, I have a much easier time getting dressed. And so to anywhere from two to four times a year, I create a new capsule wardrobe. And yes, periodically, if I get something new, I might add it into that wardrobe and take something else out that isn't serving me. But what I love about a capsule wardrobe you guys is it really makes getting dressed easy because everything is mix and match and you've really carefully selected your items right and it also makes you just take great care of the items you do have it really enhances your appreciation for those fewer items instead of just treating things like they're disposable because you have so much Another benefit to creating a capsule wardrobe is it allows you to see how certain pieces are working for you and serving you. And sometimes what you find or what I have found is that I will design a capsule wardrobe for myself and a week, two weeks, maybe one month in, start to realize that there's just like a certain piece in there that I am never wearing or there is a piece that I wear practically every day. So you start to learn, hey, down the road, maybe this is something I need to let go because it was in my capsule and I never wore it or wow this is such a great piece if I'm gonna be replacing something on a seasonal basis this is one of those I should replace because I get so much use out of it so I started by giving myself a set number of items that really helps me you guys if I don't give myself a number it is just too easy to keep finding one more thing to add in and then before I know it I've got an overly full or half the time tipping over rack so I set myself the classic 30 pieces, the 30 piece capsule wardrobe, and that includes clothing and shoes. No accessories included in that, no sleepwear, etc. Okay, also no super dressy wear. The next thing I did was I, going back to last week's video, think about this, I defined my style. So I really wanted to have a clear concept of what I wanted this to be motivated by, what I wanted my persona to be with all of these mix and match outfits. And for me, what really is resonating with me this fall is this kind of Aspen style, sort of Sundance catalog inspired style. Something a little Southwestern, a little rugged, also, I have to make sure, and this is very important for everyone, that it matches my lifestyle. So you're gonna see pieces that I left out of here. You're gonna think of things like, well, <laughs> Where's her blazer? Where are the nice trousers? Well, for me, that is a complete waste of space in my capsule wardrobe because my lifestyle right now is I'm working from home. I have three school age kids. I rarely dress up. So that's just not something I really see myself throwing on this fall. So in order to pull together the inspiration and kind of the rules for my capsule wardrobe as I went forward, I went straight to Pinterest and I started finding pictures that were inspirational for me. So I looked up the Sundance catalog and related looks and I just found some generally great looks that I thought, yeah, I've got stuff in my closet that I could use to create similar looks. And that's another good point. Gals, I am not suggesting going out and buying a bunch of new clothes. Now, if you find that you have a gap or there's something that you're really wanting in there, yeah, of course, go for it. Find a way to do it. Hey, think about going secondhand like I've talked about, but I am really talking about pulling from what you already have. We wanna do this in a way that is sustainable and low cost 
also really helped me with my color stories. So I found pictures of everything from outfits to outdoor settings to uh, Navajo rugs. I just wanted to see how certain color stories and color combos inspired me and see if I can inf could infuse that into my capsule wardrobe. So without further ado, my 30 piece capsule wardrobe for fall. I did decide to go with a Sundance catalog inspired theme. On the color story, I acknowledge the fact that I really look best in cool colors, especially near my face. So I decided on a set of kind of primary colors, like the fundamental colors in this capsule, and then I decided on some accent colors. So my fundamental colors are black, navy blue and white and guys my accent colors are fuchsia mustard or like a pumpkin-y mustardy color and light blue or even at times like a light blue denim as far as the actual pieces go i have 25 pieces of clothing and i have five pairs of shoes in this capsule I tried to work with a mix of textures. That's also really nice. You wanna make sure that your capsule has variety. You don't wanna get bored, but you also want that ability to create a lot of different outfits. And mixing textures can really keep things very interesting. So I have some chunky knits, I have some rougher denims, I have some really nice cottons, and I just have a lot to play with. And finally, I have a variety of silhouettes. So I've got, you know, everything from flowy skirts to jumpsuits to dresses to longer cardigans, shorter ponchos, skinny jeans, flared jeans. I managed to get that all into 25 pieces once again. So I have fantastic mix and match potential. And we'll also go through the shoes so that you can see variety because by simply changing your shoes, you can change your whole look. So it's really fun and make sure, make sure you watch to the end of this video because I am going to show you just a reel of pictures I took of many of the outfit combinations I could come up with just from this small collection. And that is like one one millionth of the number of combinations I could have come up with. So you can see this kind of capsule could last for months and months and you could probably never repeat the same outfit. Okay guys, so here we go. Some of this you've seen, some of it you haven't. We're gonna start with jumpsuits. I love the idea of the one piece because you can change it up completely by just changing the shoes, changing the jewelry, maybe adding an accessory like a hat or changing up your handbag. I have got the denim romper. I have got a nice gauze romper and you know I kind of reserve the right to play with my color scheme a little bit when you work with tonals like this where you have you know nudes or tans they can kind of fit into almost any capsule so we've got the great little overall romper then I have got my silk slip dress that I absolutely love you guys, there are so many different ways to style a silk slip dress. Now, this is something a lot of capsule wardrobe videos will recommend. If this isn't for you, then toss the idea. But I do love this simply because you can really dress this up. You can throw a cute little bomber jacket or denim jacket over it. I, at one point, and you'll see this in the pictures, uh, decided to put a little black vest over it. It's darling. You can change the shoes up. You can put a shirt underneath it. You can take a t-shirt and not at the waist over it. You've got like 30 looks in one dress. Then I have an easy black kind of um, uh, mid calf like shift type dress from Sundry that I love. Super comfy. Things like this you guys are great for me because it means I can dress them up or down just because of the silhouette. So if I wanted to go really dressy jewelry and uh, cool shoes with this, this would be great for an evening out, but this can easily be thrown on with sneakers for a stay at home weekend. Then I have a gorgeous navy dress, which just does happen to come from the Sundance store. So I love this. And this can be worn as a dress or it can be thrown on over skinny jeans. So again, a lot of different looks in that. 
And then finally on the dress or one piece front, I have this great shift here too. And you'll notice my style that I chose for myself for this fall is one that's very laid back and very easy. So you're not seeing a lot of fitted pieces in here because I just don't see myself dressing like that. And this again can be thrown over skinny jeans or worn on its own, dressed up with uh, any kind of higher heeled shoe, which is actually not in my capsule because I won't do that, but it can be thrown on with cowboy boots. It can be thrown on with chunkier boots for different looks. Okay, now moving on to the tops. I chose two bodysuits in the exact same silhouette from Everlane. You guys, I literally cannot get enough of these. They are so incredibly functional. They're so flattering when worn alone, but they also make really great layering pieces. So I felt like they were an essential part of my capsule. Then I chose Instead of just a plain white tee, I took a white tee with just a little bit of detail. It has the little dark navy blue stars on it. And I love this because I love mixing patterns and I feel like the little stars don't create such a strong statement that they can't be mixed with other things. Then I chose, as you guys have seen before, this great little puff sleeve navy top from Stella and Dot. I love this. I love the fabric. It's great layering. Um, potential, but I also like the fact that it is a really nice novel standalone piece and it looks great with skirts and jeans and can be dressed up or down. Also included a really fabulous fitted easy top here with a little V front and back. Again, it's really flattering on its own, great layering piece, really nice and thin too. So it really goes really well under denim jackets and bomber jackets. Then, I mean, you know my capsule wardrobe would not be complete without the triple take top from Stella and Dot. I have this in several colors. I chose the ivory for this capsule. It can be worn off the shoulder, it can be worn as a boat neck, or you can take one arm out and wrap the sleeve around the back and tuck it in, which is actually how I wear it most often. And it becomes a really sexy, edgy little top to throw on with jeans or even a skirt or frankly joggers just for a fun contrast. Okay, moving on to just one button down top. You guys, Grayson makes my favorite, favorite button down shirts. They're really lightweight cotton shirts. I found this one at Anthropology, And this is kind of showing that it's okay to mix up your style a little bit. So this has a little bit of prep in it and preppy is gonna be huge for this fall, but I'm not a super preppy person, but a little nod to prep and it can be worn open. This has got actually kind of a great southwestern feel to it when thrown on with cowboy boots and uh, kind of worn out old blue jeans. I really love it, but it can also be tight at the waist for a more polished look over a dress or skirt. Then this is probably one of my favorite additions to my wardrobe for fall. I have been on the hunt for the perfect little menswear styled vest. I on the hunt for like two years for this perfect vest. I finally found it. I found this one at Anthropology. I am obsessed with this, you guys. It is so incredibly cute over jeans. You can throw it on with sneakers or cowboy boots for a different look. Can be dressed up with jewelry, can be worn open or closed. Looks great over that silk slip dress. Looks great over a skirt. Okay, now we're coming to the whole uniform piece. So what's my uniform in all of this? Well, for me, what really works, and it goes perfectly with that whole Sundance look, is just some sort of fitted tee or tank tucked into jeans with a long cardigan over the top. Whether it's worn with boots or worn with sneakers doesn't really matter, but that whole look is like the no-brainer for me. Can roll out of bed, take the kids to school, get through my whole day wearing it. So I wanted some good mix and match options. And there are ways to play around the edges with that. It doesn't always have to be a long cardigan, but the concept is kind of the same. It could just be a, a leather bomber instead of a long cardigan. But here are my cardigans I'm playing with. Um, um, this is gonna be like one of the central statement pieces in this capsule wardrobe. I absolutely love, love, love this poncho from, again, Anthropology. Um, probably wondering why everything is from Anthro. Um, in all honest disclosure here, I worked at Anthropology for a little while, so I have a really good collection from them. But this is part of their fall 2021 collection. And if, if this does not scream Aspen, I don't know what does. I love this. And then another long cardigan from Anthro that I love, love the oatmeal, really, really love how neutral this is. This can be worn with jeans, this can be worn over my jumpsuits if necessary for layering. 
And then as far as outerwear goes, true outerwear, you guys, I do not include in the capsule. So if you're talking about things like a raincoat or a trench coat, something you only throw on to go outside, that is outside the capsule. And we'll probably do another video on my favorite outerwear pieces. But within the capsule, these are pieces that are kind of outerwear, but that I keep on. They're part of the outfit. They can be worn inside. Love my leather jacket from Soya and Kyo. I've had this for years, a good leather jacket it will hold up for like a lifetime and this is kind of a dark charcoal and then the denim jacket that I think I will never ever ever let go of my little page cropped denim jacket super soft okay now for the bottom half well again my wardrobe capsule would never be complete none would without my amazing silky skirt in this ochre pumpkin mustard whatever you want to call it color i love this you're going to see at the end of this video a handful of ways that i love to style this this can be dressed down t-shirt knotted at the waist thrown on with sneakers this can be dressed up with that little black vest over it um, it can be dressed up or down with either of those body suits tucked into it, it can be paired with cowboy boots this is like the skirt with infinite styling potential then on that same color accent note i absolutely love my corduroy here from everlane that you guys have seen before my high-waisted corduroy pants really nice fall color doesn't look great next to my face but really cute when on the bottom i can wear that grayson button down top just knotted at the waist i can uh knot a t-shirt at the waist i can wear the white fitted shirt and throw the denim jacket over the top there's just like a thousand different ways to wear these so cute then I wanted to put in at least one pair of super comfy pants. Back to the whole idea of, oh my gosh, we're, you know, spending the weekend at home or hey, God forbid, we're quarantined, can't leave the house for 10 days, I'm just gonna lounge around. So I really love just a super soft, these are joggers, but they're dressed up joggers. So you can see that they've got a nice finish at the bottom, they're high-waisted, really soft. And if I wanted to dress them up a little bit, I could put them on with the denim or leather jacket and put a cute little pair of booties on with them. Last but not least, my denim collection. And this is where that capsule wardrobe that you're gonna create gets really personal for you. Some people might say, oh my gosh, you've only got so many pieces and you're gonna use four of or five of them on denim, I guess I picked, let's see. Yeah, I've got four pairs in there. But your capsule is what you wear, it's what you love. I want you to be excited when you get dressed every day. So for me, denim is just everything. It's super soft, I love the jeans I have. If you haven't seen my video on denim, please go back and watch that. And um, they also just scream Sundance, Aspen, the whole vibe I'm trying to channel for fall. So just quickly show you the ones I picked. I did try to go with a variety of silhouettes and also with my favorite ones. So this is a skinnier uh, distressed jean with the distressing at the knees in a light wash. Then I have more of a boyfriend style distressed jean that I really like here. Again, just a little bit of a looser, slightly different shade. Then I've got the more polished, high-waisted, dark, skinny jean. So this is a great one going into fall and winter. And then finally, finally, I have a super, super soft light wash that doesn't really have any distressing and that has a slight flare at the bottom that's full length. So this is great when it comes to layering some of those dresses I showed you at the beginning over. It's really, it's a look I love is the dress over the jean. So you guys, that completes my 25 pieces of clothing. Now let's look at the shoes. Okay guys, wrapping up the capsule wardrobe for me for fall is my little miniature shoe collection. And so same principles as the wardrobe. It's gotta mix and match with the wardrobe. It's gotta be concise. These have all gotta be shoes that can go with a variety of outfits. And I do want variety in terms of style. So number one, I went with the little sneaker dark navy and it looks you can really pair this with black and you can't even tell the difference then i've got the white booty here the kind of um destroyed distressed white booty from bed stew that i love that you guys have seen before and then i have my dark olive blundstone boot. And I know we haven't really seen olive anywhere in this capsule, but I really love this boot and I've done videos on it before because this 
shade of olive. It's so dark. Let's see if you can see it. It mixes and matches with anything and everything and it has that really nice fall tone to it. Then I've got my great little transitional shoe that is also fantastic for dressing any of these looks up from the Sundance catalog itself. And last but not least, I picked a cowboy boot. Now, these are not ones that I think I've shown you before, certainly not in the last few videos. These are from Bed Stew. I absolutely love them. I do have my other cowboy boots that I've shown you guys. They're a little bit chunkier. These are a little more dressed up. So for a concise capsule, they're just a little bit more versatile. So please, hang on and move forward in this video just to the conclusion today where you can see a variety of looks that I have put together just for inspiration. If you have any questions or you need any help putting together your own capsule, please reach out to me. I'm here to help. You can email me at lisa at zerowastecloset.com and I would love to work with you. Guys, have fun with this. Capsules are a blast. They help you appreciate what you've got. They give you insight into your own style and insight also into the pieces that are working for you and those that need to go. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.